Welcome back to OA Optimism. Let's talk about why it hurts and the role that structure plays in your pain. I guarantee you've been told that you have pain because it's bone on bone. I'm going to jump right to the conclusion right now and tell you, forget about that. All right, I'm not holding any punches back today. We can just forget about that. As we age, our joints change. It's inevitable. There's not much that we can do about it, right? So people refer to this as degeneration. And there's a movement amongst researchers, clinicians, and a number of medical journals to call these wrinkles on the inside, meaning it's a normal change in our collagen structure that happens to everyone. If you look at my face, right, all of us will wrinkle. There's not much we can do about this. Some of us lose our hair. That's worth crying about but we have these normal changes in our face, right? This, this doesn't hurt, right? It just, it hurts to look at, but that's a, that's a separate issue. But in and of itself, these wrinkles, these degenerative changes are not painful. Meaning another way to look at this is if you take x-rays of everyone over 40 and you look at their knees, you know what you're gonna find? You're gonna find changes on their scan. And those people, they won't have pain, a large number of them. They will have changes on the scan and they won't have pain. There's a disconnect between the structural changes and the pain and the loss of function that people feel. So countless research studies have shown this. This is a recent one. And what they found with the people over 40 again was that 19 to 43% of people, again, without pain, had changes on their scan that look like knee OA. You've probably been told that you have bone on bone and this is why you have pain. And now you have someone on the internet, me, telling you not to worry about that. And this sucks, because now you're getting conflicting information and this is pretty frustrating. So I'm gonna apologize in advance. I'm Canadian, so I say sorry, that's what we do. But I wanna acknowledge that if it's your doctor or someone else that's telling you this, they aren't wholly wrong right? That there's a little bit of truth to what they're saying, but you might not be hearing the full picture, right? So like most things, there's a lot of subtleties and there's a lot of nuance going on here and nothing is so black and white. So bone on bone is more slang for just saying that there's these normal age related changes in your joints. And what you probably didn't hear from your doctor or from your surgeon is that those changes just increase your chance of having pain. They don't mean that you're doomed to have pain. There's no guarantee that you have those changes and it has to hurt. Just because you have pain and you have those changes doesn't mean or no one can say that it's because of those changes. We say it might be part of it, but we can't say with any certainty. So what we want to focus on are the other factors that influence pain as well. And it's almost like we want to cope with the changes that you have on your scan. So we focus on what we can change. So structure is just one piece of that complicated pain puzzle. You can almost view structure as kindling for a fire. I don't really camp or anything like that, but I have burnt stuff in the past. And I do know you need something dry. You probably need some wood. You need like tinder and uh, straw. And then you just throw that on the ground and no one thinks, all right, there's our fire, go, burn, or w whatever you do. And that's not enough. You, you just have the kindling, that's not enough. And it's the same with these structural changes. How do we turn that uh, kindling into a fire? You need to add some sort of spark. You need a heat source. You definitely need oxygen. You can throw gas on it. And that's how you wanna look at pain. We have these structural changes, the kindling, and then we need to sensitize that. We need sparks. You need something else in your life, right? To accelerate that pain problem. And that's what we focus on with rehab. There are a few more things that we can be optimistic about as well. You still have synovial fluid when we have these wrinkles on the inside. OA is not a disease that always gets worse. And I know that's surprising you, so let's go into that soon. Synovial fluid, it's that grease in the joint. It's the grease that lets you move. It works as a cushion. 
So despite having those normal age-related changes, so you might get the bones getting closer to one another, you can still have that grease in there. You can still have that cushion. Further, we can have changes on our skin and things don't have to get worse over time. Neoa is characterized by persistent rather than inexorably worsening symptoms, even when the x-rays show more joint changes. Inexorably, in a way that is impossible to stop or prevent. Forget that, that doesn't apply to knee and hip OA. So to recap, you know, structure is not wholly irrelevant, but it's just one part of the pain puzzle. And again, since it's something that we don't have to change, I'd say, let's not focus on it. Let's focus on the things that we can change. Let's focus on the things that allow us to recover and to do well, even when we have these knee and hip changes. So part two of why it hurts is coming up. Until then, I'm Greg Lehman, and this is OA Optimism.